Yo, what's up YouTube? Back again with another video and today we're going to be looking at some software that was sent to me by Anthropix, the makers of Portrait Pro. They've sent me a copy of the Portrait Pro body software. That's for editing the whole body of um, any of your images and um, I've not used this version of the software. I tried it, the trial version, quite a few years ago now and um, anyway so they sent me out this version and i haven't i've installed it haven't tried it yet so we're going to walk through it together and we'll see how easy it is to use and i know this version it can be used as a plugin in photoshop nice and easy check out the link in the description if you use my discount code you'll get 15 percent off any order on their website which is really good and like i said we're just going to jump straight in so we're going to pick on this image here and we will open up Portrait Pro Body. Now I do apologise if anything does lag um, while I'm doing this video. Once again I am shooting it in 4K and um, yeah so we'll just basically go through this together. I like I said I haven't used this version yet this is my first time booting it up and trying it so yeah it's let's see how easy it is to get used to. Okay, so we've got the main picture here in the middle and instructions. Okay, so it's telling me to click on the nose, which we will do in a second. Right, okay, different ideas there. Face turned away, nose hidden. Click on the nose to identify the person of what you want to edit or of who you want to edit. So we've just got the one girl in the picture. This is going to be nice and uh, simple. We'd be just clicking on the nose, but before we do that, we'll just have a look at everything else we've got. We've got navigator, zoom in, zoom out, okay. Nice and simple, home. What else have we got there? Okay, so it's telling me to click on the nose, so let's click on the nose and see what happens. Select body shape, so we've got male or female, not really hard that one, so we'll click on the male, female. Okay, accept body mark or body modify markup. So what I'm going to do first of all with this first um, video is we're going to just let the software and the AI of the software do everything and let's see what sort of difference it makes to the picture. Okay, accept markup. It's going to process that for me. Uh, like I said, yeah, don't forget, links in the description, any of their software, you get 15% off with my discount code. And as well, okay, just one tick, I will try and talk my way through doing this at the same time. So, okay, so we've got the markups around the body, etc, etc. And then, okay, markup on here, question mark. Right, okay, so these sliders are going to help me manipulate the body to my liking. Um, so we've got slim, curvy, different effects we can do. Let's just zoom out just a tad. Now, I would have liked to have seen a preview of a before. Oh, hang on, side by side. Right, okay, that's better. So we've got a an original and then the edited version of the picture so we've got before and after i'm happy to be doing that can we do that let's have a look from here hold for the original right okay so i think we'll try it with the side by side comparison that's going to give me a better idea of what is going on we will just zoom in on the page just a bit get it to the full capacity we can have I think about there all right okay so we've got shape tools what's in here drag curves to reshape body okay blah -de blah it seems right okay that's a little bit like the warp tool I think in Photoshop skin okay what have we got in here right so it's detecting skin why would it want to do that, I wonder? Um, maybe to... Let's have a look. Ah, right, okay, so we can smooth down the skin if we want to. Ah, it's got more features than I thought it would have. Right, okay. Um, 
warp fixer what have we got in here now i did look at this on the website the warp fixer is just say the the model was against a brick wall and after you'd done the adjustments we'd had some warp into the picture and this this will allow you to fix any of the issues and the bottom one here is okay given adjustments to the picture exposure right anyway so we want to get straight into the um no right we want to get straight into having a little play with this image so that's what we will do now right okay so we've got slim kirby lift 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 so we're going to go this individually so let's try the slim right okay that's that's good i like i do like that now if we were trying to do this in Photoshop, it would be a bit of a pain to try and push in all these areas um, with the warp tools, etc., or the liquify. Right, okay, so we're not going to go too far with her. Um, I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at the slim in. Slim, slim, lift. So what's that, what's that doing? Lifting the body up, which... I wouldn't want to do any any of that, I don't think, to this image. Okay, we can make a taller or smaller, I guess. Taller. So we can just stretch out the image to just to give it a little bit more of length to it as well. That's clever. I do like that. And let's have a look in here. We've got Torso Master. What's it doing here? Chest right okay individual areas it's going to art uh hat -huh. okay so this is um quite amazing to be fair hips what's it doing there abdomen bottom right okay yeah abdomen height amazing what this is doing to be fair now I can see this software for me coming in handy for, um, I do a lot of wedding photography and I do get a lot of brides asking to be made to be looking slimmer and it takes up a lot of my time um, to do that in Photoshop etc. So I can see this giving me a, let's just go on here, one take, you can see the before and after. Um, right, so that's what we've done so far. We've just give her we slimmed her out just slightly. Now that to me isn't going extreme and yeah, I'm liking the results. Okay, so what have we got in here? Legs, legs, legs. What's that going to do? Right, okay, individual slimming of legs. Now she has got quite baggy trousers on, so her legs do look larger than what they were anyway. But we will just slim them down just a tad. Right, okay, in here skeleton 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 now what this will do is i think when i looked at this last time it was giving you the ability to adjust the angles of how the body is in the picture basically so let's just go in here and show you right so we've had that one done already hip height right elbow so we can adjust, you know, micro adjustments would be more in tone, I think, with using this. But what it will do is, right, we're just going to slim them shoulders down just a little bit. Now we can, ah, that was it, yeah. That was the thing that I remember trying was the adjusting the head. Um, if you weren't happy with the pose, you could just adjust it just slightly. And we can give her a little bit more neck length if need be right okay um so like i said this is just a quick introdu introdu intro introductory to this software and i can see this being a benefit to me straight away like i said for the um let's have a look here edit the entire body warp tool shape tools drag let's have a quick look at this so what can we do here? Ah, so it's basically doing the same as the slidey ones, but 
could we what's this one do drag image to warp okay so we could drag the image to warp yes yeah, so ah so this is like the um the tool that we have in photoshop for doing just individually parts of an image now i've just messed that one up let's revert didn't want to do that but yeah it's going to give you the same sort of thing you can do with tool size tool strength we can bring that down just bring that up just a little bit and if we want to push that arm in we could do yeah so this is the same as the warp tool in photoshop which i do find tedious um but i'm thinking now using this software for letting it do its magic first of all and then using this for doing the last touches of the image is going to be great for me now the one thing i want to have a look at was this skin um no the face was it the face right yeah okay so what it does it gives you a more of a basic version of portrait pro to fix eyes do the makeup and add things you know like you can do in the um portrait pro software that's a standalone one so it's going to give you it's giving you basic functions here um which again i wouldn't probably use in this software i would use that on something else as in portrait pro but yeah um for the warp fix i can't do that on this picture but um as we can see there we've just done some minor adjustments and it's done a really good job in my opinion definitely so that's a before and there it is after and for the price of this software i think at the moment last time i looked it was around about the 29 pounds 99 pence sort of area this is going to save me a definite lot of work that i would usually have to do in photoshop which i don't like doing it's tedious it takes a long time um but this is gonna and again i do like me shortcuts in anything to do with towards um editing and fo with photoshop if i can get a shortcut or a standalone program i do something that i've got to spend hours doing in photoshop then definitely a win for me right okay so this is my first look at portrait pro body studio it's available in the link below i will also leave the link to the 15 percent discount which is available of any purchase of the software on that site and yeah definite win for me we will try a few more pictures over the coming days see you in the next one i've got a phone call bye